Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. Find the number of integer solutions of the quantity x squared minus 10 raised to quantity x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 1. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this challenging quadratic equation. Now, let's solve this problem together. What do we mean by find the number of integer solutions? This means that we are only after roots of these equations that are integers. We are going to disregard fractions. We are going to disregard radical roots. Now notice that in this equation, the quantity x squared minus 10 is the base and x squared minus 3x minus 10 is the exponent. So the form of this equation is in the form m raised to n equals 1, where m is the base x squared minus 10 and n is the exponent x squared minus 3x minus 10. How can we make m raised to n equals 1? Well, there are three cases that we can encounter here. The first case is when the base itself is 1, because 1 raised to any number that is equal to 1. The second case is when the exponent is 0, because any number raised to 0 equals 1, except when the base is equal to 0, because you will have 0 raised to 0. And the third case is when the base m is equal to negative 1, provided that the exponent is an even number, because negative 1 raised to an even number would result to positive 1. So we're going to take a look at the number of integer solutions for each of these cases, and then we'll count the total number of integer solutions. Let's begin with the first case, when the base x squared minus 10 is equal to 1. So here, let's just solve for x. We add 10 both sides to get x squared equals 11. And we take the square root of both sides to get x equals plus or minus square root of 11. In here, notice that the roots are radicals. They are not integer solutions. And therefore, we have zero integer solution for case number one. Let's go to case number two. That is when the exponent is zero and the base is not zero. So our exponent is x squared minus 3x minus 10, and we let that to be equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation that can be solved using factoring. So what are the factors of negative 10 when added resulted to negative 3? So the possible factors of 10 are 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. And since our AC here is negative. One of the factors here must be negative, the other must be positive. And the coefficient of the middle term is negative 3. So the higher of these two factors must take the negative sign. Notice that if those two factors are 2 and negative 5, their product is negative 10, which is, which is our AC. And the sum is negative 3, which is the coefficient of the x term. Therefore, we can now write this as x plus 10 times x minus 5. Then from the zero product property, each of these factors is equated to zero. And finally, x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 5 are the two roots. And in this case, there are two integer solutions. So let's record that here. There are two possible roots here. Then for case number three, we have the case where the base is negative 1, but the exponent is even. Because negative 1 raised to an even exponent is still equal to this positive 1. So, m is x squared minus 10, equate that to negative 1. Then we solve for the value of x here, and once we find the roots, we are going to substitute that to the exponent x squared minus 3x minus 10 to verify that the exponent is indeed an even number. Let's solve this one. We add 10 to both sides of the equation to get x squared equals negative 1 plus 10, which is equal to positive 9. So we take the square root of both sides to get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. Here, there are two integer solutions, but we are going to check first if the exponent becomes even when x is positive 3 or x is negative 3. So let's do the checking. This is the exponent that we want to be even. Substitute 3 to x to arrive at 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus 10. And this is equal to 9 minus 9, which is 0. So that is equal to negative 10, which is even. So we found one integer solution, and that is positive 3. Now, when x is negative 3, we have negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we have positive 18 minus 10, that is positive 8, which is also another even number. So it's confirmed that there are two integer solutions for 
case number three. And that gives us a total of four integer solutions for this problem. And so our answer now is four. There are four integer solutions for the quantity x squared minus 10 raised to the quantity x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals one. And we are done.